All right, just got the uh, audio fixed. It was locked up for some reason. I don't know what was going on, but we got that fixed up. So uh, thanks for your patience on that. So what we're watching for is just a damaging wind line coming in. It's not a tritic situation. It's just a damaging wind um, that you can get from storms sometimes in the summertime. When you see temperatures up around 100 degrees, they do collapse at some point. A lot of energy. And there's a lot of uh, instability. That's got to come down. So in other words, what goes up must come down. So that's what's kind of happening out there now. So we'll cover that. So thanks for watching. Again, thanks for your patience from earlier. Uh, if you guys that were on the old YouTube channel, you'll have to go to the new one because that one's not going to be playing anymore. Uh, but the new one should have kicked in and notified you. Um, so you guys will be able to find that. All right, so I'll tell you what. Let's move on to uh, what is currently happening. I'll show you the radar view. So this is the Oklahoma City metro area, and the, the line of wind is very small uh, as far as stature goes, it's, and it's already diminishing. Uh, this little darker blue area uh, surrounded by the green, this is the area of enhanced wind field. And the most winds we've seen out of the surface so far reported has been about 55 to 60 to 70. Radar has estimated as much as uh, uh, close to 80 miles per hour, though. Um, but even those winds have come down, like around Valley Brook, for example. Um, if you look just north of 240, where the 44 and 240 junction splits, that's where actually the strongest winds are. And Radar is estimating close to 80 miles per hour. Uh, we'll pot in some streets here for a second. But uh, this is going the south side of town for those stronger winds. There's a little patch here on the east side around Forest Park, around 62 and uh, Sooner Road. Um, close to about 75, maybe 80 miles per hour. So the very small areas, but those small areas can do as much damage as a very small tornado. Uh, kind of like an EF0, uh, maybe an EF1, you know, if you can really get some good gust out of them. So that's why sometimes these damaging wind events are um, good to cover. Now, the good news is the damaging wind doesn't last very long. In other words, let's say what comes up must come down. In this particular case, uh, the stronger winds have already kind of dropped their load, so to speak, around Yukon. Uh, south of Piedmont, Yukon, just approaching Bethany, uh, then now of course moving through Oklahoma City. So the good news is that those winds have died down quite a bit on the broad scale, but we're still going to have those small pockets. We're sticking around 80 miles per hour or so. Again, that's on the south side of town here. Uh, for example, this is Southwest 55th Street and 59th Street. Right now, getting some of the hardest winds. It's becoming really much uh, moving east along Southwest 59th, uh, coming up toward Broadway and eventually here 35 in just a few uh, seconds. So this will be a little pocket of wind that we're going to be concerned with. This has the strongest potential for damage here on the south side of town. And that's around uh, 240. So if we put uh, some of these winds on here, kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. So for example, I'll pick this little pixel right here uh, just so you can see so again west of Valley Brook so you can see how the radar is going to measure about 81 to 82 mile per hour wind now that is, again is enough damage that can mess up some shingles down some trees um, uh, especially recent rains uh, the ground may be a little bit wet so it may be easier to uproot some trees so this again on the south side of town where that stronger wind is. Now in the past, around Yukon and Bethany, there's been reports around 55. There's one around 60 out here toward El Reno. There was a 70. So historically, there has been some pockets and pretty good wind. We haven't seen anything measured up around 90, but that's what the radar is estimating, you know, potential, the most max uh, wind category that you could see. Here, I would imagine the next couple of scans, these winds will continue to come down. In other words, each new scan that comes in, they should get less and less in intensity. I'm going to switch radar sources here and see if we can't get a little closer view, a little bit better resolution on that stuff on the south side of town.
could try that. Could try that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 